Hi students, uh, welcome to my channel ICT Active Learners. Today I am going to explain <coughs> about the web pages. So this uh, chapter of the web pages consists uh, the codings of uh, HTML which will help us to learn how to create the web pages. So the web pages can be created through uh, softwares, uh, some special applications like uh, Microsoft Web Expression, Dreamweaver, Front Page, and Visual Studio. But that can also be created using Notepad Text Editor as well. So how do we include a different kind of paragraph styles and heading styles into our web page this is what i am going to explain today so this can be done through the uh, text editor like notepad if you open the notepad that's my notepad uh, text editor so i am going to create a web page so first of all i need to save my text editor as a web page how just click on file then save it as then go to documents and I'm going to create here a folder called chapter 21 and I will just open this folder and I will name this task task 21 a dot html so this text file now will be saved as a web page when i click on save and then i go to my folder in documents chapter 21 it is saved like a web page if i preview this one or i just click on open to check how it looked like in the web browser so this is how it looked like in the web browser now this part of the web browser is called the title bar. So right now it is written task 21A. How can I change the title? So I will start begin with the coding. First of all, I need to write HTML. Then I need to start with the header. And headers include the title. And my title is, for example, my first web page. And then I have to close the title tag. So you see, this one is the ending point of the title. That is the beginning of the tag. And with a backslash, that is the ending of the tag. Now these two tags are open, not yet ended. So let me end the header now. I don't want to include anything in the header. So I just include the backslash with the header. HTML I am not closing because I need to include some other information later on. But let's suppose before I add another other uh, properties, I will just uh, try to close this one we'll click on the file and then we'll click on save when i click on save and i go to my web browser and i refresh this time so you can see the title is changed now my first web page in the same way i can also include the other information like different styles so i will mention here first of all body of the web page why body of the web page because this area is the body the working area so now i want to include something here so body of the web page and then in the body of the web page i want to write a paragraph so paragraph will start with the paragraph so i will just mention here this is a paragraph style or you can also mention here that this is my first web page 
okay and then you can write your name here just like that and then you need to close the paragraph tag just like this when you click on save and refresh the web browser here you will find here that this is my first web page and then your name here then you can include the different heading styles so we have different heading styles starting from heading style h1 till heading style h6 h1 is the largest h2 is the second largest h3 third largest h4 fourth largest h5 fifth and then uh, h6 is the smallest so let's include here heading style h1 and i mentioned here this is heading style h1 and i will just close h1 when i save this one and refresh my web browser it says this is the heading style h1 now exactly in the same way for h2 as well i can say here this is heading style h2 and then just close the h2 tag save it and refresh your web browser you will find the same changes here and then after you can simply do what you just copy this tag and paste it here and then you can just change this one to for example uh, 3 4 5 6 then 3 4 5 6 then this one 6 5 4 3 save it and refresh your web browser so h1 is the largest and h6 is the smallest now you can also include here another paragraph for example this is para paragraph style and then just close the paragraph like this save it and then close the body of the web page here save it and refresh your web browser you will find these changes appear over here so this is one method how do we create the web pages we can also do the same job with the help of application called web expression how let me just close this one close this one and even all of them will just open here expression web expression that is web expression 4 so when this program will open it will look like this it has one title bar some menus here okay then the formatting bar then this is our web page so straight away there are three views we have one is design view which shows us the final look of our web page split view which show the code as well as design or the output and then code only shows the code so you see everything is done here it is written here untitled because we did not name it i am going to name it for example first web page now i will include the information here so instead of writing the code simple i will just write here for example this is my first web page and then i'm going to write my name here so see it's normally in the paragraph style right now and then i'm going to say here this is heading style h1 and i'm going to copy this one for example just copy oh sorry this one only copy 
and then just paste it and then change this one to h2 3 4 5 and then 6 and I'm writing here for example uh, this is paragraph style so right now all of them are in paragraph can you click here and then just check here all of them in paragraph we we'll select this one get in the formatting menu here it is written paragraph click here change this one to h1 select this one change this one to h2 then select this one change it to h3 then h4 then h5 then h6 and this is already a paragraph style now you just click on file save it i'm going to save it as stars 21a and then we'll go to documents chapter 21 and i'm going to save it over there so it said there is already one so no problem you replace it when you click on save now you want to see how it look like in the web browser click on file preview in the web browser and choose any web browser internet explorer or chrome for example internet explorer 11 so this is how it look like so that's all from the task 21a from uh, this uh, video hope you learn how to deal with the paragraph adding styles and how do you write the title and other related code thanks for watching please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates